Welcome to Skill Header with a unique video about how to use the CRUD system in Microsoft Access Database. You will have all the source code available in the description link of skillheader.com. CRUD is about to create, read, update, and delete functions related to records. It is the need for every database system. As you can see, I have a customer form here with some records. To create a new customer, I have a button here. To update or make changes to the record and to operate the delete function there are other two buttons related to update and delete records. Let's create a new record. Fine, now update and delete the record to complete the CRUD operations. You should have to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the notification of the upcoming videos. Please like and share the video. Let's see how to make all the systems. I am creating a new database file in Access and a table in Design View with these fields related to customer. To create a drop-down menu related to the terms of payment, I will be using the lookup wizard data type like this. As you know table must contain a unique value so, I have assigned the primary key to the ID field. Now save the table with the name of customer table before applying the formats. Currency format can be converted into standard format where a comma separator is available and there are two decimal places selected. Let's fill in some demo data here. You can make any option as default for the drop-down menu like this. Now, let's create a form based on the table fields in a tabular form. Now, I am going to rename the labels properly and make some quick design related changes to the form. Two buttons are required here related to update and delete. Let's intact them by applying quick design changes. button for new customers. Okay, our form looks fine. Move on to create a new form related to new customer data entry.
You can make a simple table fields based form here but I prefer an advanced solution in which I will use unbound text boxes and add new records to the table from VBA coding. Save the form with the name of the new customer form. We do not need a record selector, scroll bars, or any other control because it is a single record based form. Oops, I am unable to find the save button here because of the page header footer instead of the forms header footer. Let's select that from the properties. Every form object including text boxes and buttons must contain unique names like this. In the next video, we will start the coding magic and make the all system operational. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notification. Stay tuned to learn advanced access projects. See you on the other side.